Hello everybody and welcome to Dodd's Football Recap presented by Dodd Sports Network. I'm your host Alex Dodd. Let's dive into the Palmetto State Recap. Clemson and South Carolina both played host to FCS foes this weekend and devoured them like a Thanksgiving feast and Furman won a share of the Southern Conference title and sealed a berth to the FCS playoffs. Let's start with Furman. The Paladins played host to the Wofford Terriers at Paladin Stadium on Saturday with major implications. If Furman won, they win a share of their 13th Southern Conference title and a possible FCS playoffs berth for the first time since 2006. Wofford was up 14 to nothing in the second quarter thanks to two short yardage touchdowns, but Furman never quit. The Paladins went on to score 27 unanswered points and won 27 to 14 in a microcosm of their season to win a 13th Southern Conference title and their first since 2004. There are game highlights and interviews with some Furman players about their monumental win. Johnny Martin on the run for a while. Talk about fighting back in this game. You're down early, down coming into the locker room. What was said in the locker room that changed the momentum coming out of the halftime? Um, you know, we talked about, uh, no, they're not going to give it to us at all. We're going to have to fight for it. You know, coach says some things that, you know, stay between the team. So uh, we talked about it. We came out, made a few adjustments. Um, we knew we had to throw the ball more. They were playing a lot conservative, putting uh, more people in the box. So, hey, we came out, adjusted, and so kind of changed. And it works for you. Congratulations, Southern Conference. Yes, sir. Alex Dodd here with senior Dakota Dozer. What does this mean to you? Five hard years of work coming out Southern Conference. Feels great. You know, uh, first time champion. You know, been here in five years, like you said, and worked hard the whole time. And we grinded and grinded and kept fighting. And this year, you know, it didn't start out anywhere near the way we wanted to. But, you know, after after chat, it just rolled. And we knew that we could keep winning and keep fighting and keep playing. And to get those wins felt great. And to be here right now, the champion, great feeling. Great feeling. Talk about what was said at half. Halftime, you were down coming into the locker room. Talk about what was said that came out and changed my middle. It's adversity. You got to fight through it. Uh, you know, like I said, nothing's gonna go to plan. You know, if, it, if something goes wrong, you got to be ready to bounce back. And we fought. You know, those ten points for half were huge, and it just gave us that motivation to know that we're gonna keep coming, grind, and fight all day long. Congratulations, Thank Dakota Dozier, Southern Conference. I hope you enjoyed those highlights and interviews. But in order for Furman to go to playoffs, Sanford had to defeat Elon. The Elon Phoenix gave the Bulldogs a fit, and Sanford came away with a victory thanks to a touchdown pass by Andy Summerlin on fourth and goal from the 12-yard line with seven seconds to spare. They won 33-32 and gave Furman the, a bid to the FCF playoffs. Sanford also with a bid to the FCS playoffs. Furman will travel to SC State and play a 1 o'clock game in Orangeburg, and Sanford will go to Jacksonville State at 8 p.m. on Saturday. Both games available live streaming on ESPN3. Fellow Furman Southern Conference member the Citadel Bulldogs traveled to Clemson, South Carolina Saturday and did not fare well against the high-powered Tiger offensive attack in Death Valley. Clemson crushed the Citadel 52-6 on Senior Day and Military Appreciation Day. The game was a purple out to honor soldiers who have lost their lives serving our great nation. And its most memorable moment came when Purple Heart recipient and Clemson wide receiver Daniel Rodriguez scored on a two-yard shovel pass from Cole Stout for the first score of his career. Clemson leaves to Columbia this Saturday to face crosstown rival South Carolina 
and we have more about that matchup later in the show. First, let's talk about the South Carolina Gamecocks. South Carolina hosted strong FCS foe and Big South champion Coastal Carolina Saturday and handily defeated the Chanticleers 70-10. The Gamecocks' most impressive number was 639. The amount of total offense for South Carolina, the most in Steve Spurrier, Spurrier's tenure at the university, and both Sw uh, Spurrier and Dabo Sweeney have their teams poised for the Dodge Sports Network game of the week on Saturday, the battle of the Palmetto State between the 10-1 sixth ranked Clemson Tigers as they travel to Williams Bryce to square off against 10th ranked 9-2 the University of South Carolina. I see this game coming down to whether or not South Carolina can slow down the Tigers' fast-paced offensive attack. They've done it the past four years, but can they do it again? And if they can't, it'll be a long night for the South Carolina Gamecocks, and I give Clemson a seven-point advantage over South Carolina. The game is televised nationally on ESPN2 at 8 p.m. I hope everyone has a great week. And we'll see you next time on Don's Football Recap. As we leave, I want to leave you with a passage of scripture from Psalms 100. David wrote, Make a joyful noise unto the Lord, all ye lands. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before his presence with singing. Know ye that the Lord, he is God. It is he that hath made us, and not we ourselves. We are his people, and the sheep of his pasture. Enter into his gates with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise. Be thankful unto him and bless his name. For the Lord is good, his mercy is everlasting, and the truth endureth to all generations. So that's Psalms 100. Happy Thanksgiving, God bless, and we'll see you next time.